Hi there, and welcome to the Beaten Trail. This episode, we're going to play with some uh, GoPro telemetry settings and dashware. So, uh, what's really exciting is, you know, if you have GPS turned on in your GoPro, you're going to be receiving all that telemetry onto the video data file. You're going to have speed, and you're going to have your location, and you're going to have uh, a couple different other values that it gets recorded. So. Uh, I tried playing with that a little bit, but the GoPro software is really weak. You can only export about about a minute worth of video. So Dashware is a great program. It's free, and it will read the telemetry out of your GoPro as long as you have it enabled. Uh, and then once you pair it up with the right data file from your GoPro install, you can copy that over to the uh, Dashware software. It will be able to pull that data out. So I was watching some videos on YouTube and I saw somebody with a speedometer down on the video. And I was like, that is awesome. And then they had a skydiver and he had his altitude on there. I'm like, that is awesome. I would, I want to do that. So that's how this started. So for your GoPro, you need to copy your GoPro telemetry file over to the Dashware directory as shown. And once you do this, you'll be able to import files from your GoPro once you have your GPS enabled. And you'll be able to continue on to Dashware and import that type of data and see what kind of telemetry you can set the gauges to. Once you've loaded your video file, it will prompt you to go ahead and you should be able to specify the data file as well. It will import the file and you will be able to select GoPro and add that telemetry. So once you start playing the video, you should be having real-time process. Uh, if you have the gauges, you'll see the speed change and whatnot. If you don't see anything selected, then it's not synchronized. But there's a variety of different gauges that you can use. Some are for scuba, some are for drones, some are for you know, cycling and race cars. So you just pretty much have to find out uh, which ones you can use which are related to your GoPro, which is your speed, altitude, heading, uh, and your coordinates. So that's the next step, really. And then once you get those all placed accordingly, you can go ahead and export that video and utilize it in your local video editor. DaVinci Resolve, but anything works really well. You can resize these gauges and you can edit them. Uh, obviously, I'm not an expert on dashware, but you can certainly go ahead and read up on more modifications. It's a very complex program, but it seems like it's very expandable. So once you have those all placed, you can go ahead and see that data come up. And uh, if you want, you can read up more about that. But it looks very versatile. I'd highly recommend it. So not shown in this video, we did have some erroneous data where we had uh, the map in the upper left hand corner really show some obscure track for the map. So be aware that you know you may have some corrupted data. We just loaded different files and tried them all and I just found that there were some, maybe we didn't get a good GPS signal, maybe there was something wrong with the data card, but uh, the video was fine. So. Your mileage will vary, 
but obviously test them out. You'll have to do this in chunks. Uh, it is a bit time consuming, but I think it's well worth it. If, if that's what your audience wants, then you'll be able to put some of these items on here. And I've seen other videos do it, so it definitely looks cool. So I know a few of you have written to me saying, hey, we want some longer trail videos. Uh, I'll definitely get those up soon, but this is pretty much a precursor to see what I can do to put some data up there for you. So stand by. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe. Please share the video. Please go ahead and like it and tell me what you like the best about GoPro and your telemetry and what data, what have you done in the past? So go ahead and put that in the comments and thanks again for watching.